Today I will take my Gloucester Gladiator uh, to the field where I have like uh, a little bit longer grass just to see how this one will handle takeoff and landings. So let's just head outside and get this one up in the air. So just making a little bit gentle on the throttle and just get it rolling. I have no problem taking off on this uh, kind of semi rough, rough grass field. It's not like uh, in the springtime when the grass is actually growing really intensively. So it's a kind of a dry right now, which is always a good thing when it's about to take off with your favorite RC airplane. And I think this is actually one of the better controlled Durafly RC airplanes there are. It's uh, actually just uh, fantastic. Inverted flying, I mean, it just feels like you're flying light and straight um, with the right side up. So, this plane flies on a 4S 2200 milliamp battery. You can do at least five minutes. If you do intensive flying, I, I would suspect that five minutes is the limit. And you can surely just do really nice knife edge passes with this RC plane as well. I'm just having a lot of fun with this Gloucester Gladiator. It's just so rewarding to get this one up in the air and do lots of things. So just forgive me for not flying this one scale. Uh, but I mean, I can't resist it because this RC plane is so able and so fun and so gentle and so well controlled and looks just fantastic. So uh, I must say that all, out of all the biplanes I've tried, this uh, Gloucester Gladiator is uh, the most fun and I would also say that it's the uh, the best looking I have my eyes uh, on the E-Flight PT-17 1.1 meter uh, wingspan RC airplane but it got discontinued before I had the chance to purchase one but this is a, a really excellent replacement for the PT-17 As most aromatic moves with ease, really nice and clean stall turns. And it just flies so well on the side, knife edge style. Rolls really fast and snappy. I'm running mine on uh, an AR630 antenna less receiver. In my experience I've tried both the AR630 631 which has one external antenna and also the 637T which has two antennas and I really can't say that uh, I have bad reception with one or the other. On the other hand, I just try to, to fly really close to where I'm standing. So usually it's within uh, like uh, around 50 or 80 meters. So not going, you know, too far away. Just trying to keep the plane close so the camera can uh, pick up uh, the nice RC airplanes. When you step on the throttle, it just goes in a really, uh, really nice uh, way also. Uh, it's not the most uh, speedy RC airplane, but it's uh, fast enough. 
Are these tight turns as well? So it's time to land this Gloucester Gladiator. I have a little bit of uphill to my right, so just try to do a really nice flare and do a three-point landing on this RCL plane. So let's um, just do it gentle then. When it comes to, to grass ops, when you have a little bit longer grass and a little bit rougher ground, I think like with all tail draggers, the trick is to get the RCL plane moving. You can actually just make like a short burst on the throttle, just to have the wheels rolling. When it starts to roll, uh, usually you have full up elevator and you just try to get it up in the air as quick as possible. Because if you have like a, a pit or something, uh, the chances are this one will just you know nose over and then the prop might break. So even when you do it like perfect, I think that with some with some uh, some sort of uh, loaning of of the grass because the, the the prop clearance on most RCL plane isn't really too great. And then when it comes to to land this RCL plane, I think this one flares really really well. So on longer grass, then you should actually do a three point landing. Uh, that is, you you go down and you more or less kill the throttle and you just keep full elevator. You might need a little bit power, uh, but just try to actually have the plane flying like this uh, when it lands, so it uh, touches down on all three wheels. So, I mean, that's the trick on this one because it doesn't feature a long nose. Uh, and um, I mean, uh, it's just something that, that I mean, if, even if I land my E-Flight Mustang P51, D 1.2 meters, the same technique actually. I think along long grass you really need to get this in this angle. Uh, but I mean, uh, sh surely long grass ops works really fine on this cluster gladiator.